abandonment issues. <laughs> well, I guess I'm the only one that have these issues. <laughs> I didn't trust nobody. I didn't trust no one. Family didn't matter. I did not trust nobody. I was, I didn't feel worthy enough of anything. And I couldn't have an intimate relationship with, with no one. And intimate doesn't mean sex, you know. Uh, it means having a very close relationship with someone, just like my intimate relationship with God. Um, I didn't know how to have that. I felt anxiety, I felt depression, anger, impulsive behavior, <laughs> frequent mood swings up and down. I mean, I pushed everybody away, even the ones that cared about me. <laughs> uh, I wanted lasting relationships, but I didn't, I didn't know how to have them. And throughout the years, my personality disorder developed and um, I was crazy, I felt crazy. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, A-Town, stand up. Suelta la suburban, cause we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong and Strong. All in his name, on his glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for my sins. Thank you. Man. I was raised Catholic, you know, uh, I did the whole communion thing and the prayers and I was an altar boy, believe it or not. <laughs> Every Sunday I would help with the Sunday Mass and I pretty much lived at the church. The father that was in charge over us was, uh, he was a solid dude, you know. Um, I guess you could say he was one of the first uh, men in my life that really, well, he kind of abandoned me. He died, but <laughs> he was really old. Um, but thinking back now, at nine years old, I was already thinking, man, you know, I've, I've passed, I've had some really dark years already under my belt, and I was, I would think, man, I seen a lot. I was nine years old. And I would also think, you know, has, has God abandoned me? You know, um, did I do something to deserve what was done to me? Was I such a bad kid that my dad just left us in that hotel with nothing? And uh, remembering my mom like crying, then I started to think maybe all the drownings, the rapes, the beatings, in that dark room was like the payment.
Obviously, most of you guys know I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I only offer my heart, my opinion, and my life experience, my walk. Uh, I've kept it 100 with you guys since day one, and I'm gonna stay that way. And the day that I trip or, or something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys. We can heal from this, from this pain. And I know that you didn't cause it, just like I know today that I didn't cause it, but it is your choice to heal from it. I had to make the decision. As we allow God to heal and strengthen us with Him, like seeking Him, walking with Him, talking to Him, I think a lot of people struggle with this issue, but we don't, some of them don't realize it, or a lot of people just don't want to talk about it. You know, my, my walk started in November of last year, and God has been peeling back layers <laughs> one at a time. And, and that's just what healing is. That's what I realized today. Healing is just one day at a time. And, and like, I know that I'm not alone. I know you're not alone. And you just have to be disciplined to keep doing it. I didn't realize how bad my abandonment issues were until I started this walk. I started to realize that I was abandoned as a kid then moved around from house to house. Three months was a magic number. No one could deal with me. My uncles tried, my aunts, and God bless my grandparents. Then all my friends that I started making a family with on the streets started getting killed or sent to prison for life. Then I end up in prison and most of the cellies that you do time with end up leaving or transferring to another prison where you never see them again. Walking some of my cellmates up to the gate and see them, seeing them leave was some of the hardest times in my life. The primary thing to do here, when I say discipline, is to study the Word of God. Through it, God speaks. There is no substitute for the Bible. So your daily training, sleeping, eating, is the Word of God, just like in the gym. Hear it, study it, memorize it, meditate on it. Train yourself to hold that Bible with all five fingers, locked and loaded. My name's JC, I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, lift savage, and remember, lift for him. Catch you guys on the rebound.